I'm Paige Horton, and I'm 12 years old. My bones, like, and joints started hurting whenever I would, like, do physical activities, like running, hurt, and other stuff that everyone else was fine doing, I couldn't do. Well, the first pediatrician didn't notice anything. It would make me kind of upset because it made it seem like I was lying and stuff, and I'm like, no, these pains are real, and they're like, oh, it could just be in like her head and stuff. I'm like, I, I know what's happening. I had my doubts at first, because um, this is one of those diseases that you can't physically see, um, especially in her case. But each specialist, including rheumatology and whatnot, would say, this is, this is not our division. This, she doesn't fall into a rheumatology diagnosis. This isn't me. You'll need to go somewhere else. But we couldn't get put onto the right place. She had a number of stiff joints, so she couldn't extend her fingers as much as typical. She couldn't raise her arms above her shoulders very easily. Um, and all of those are features that you can see in lysosomal storage diseases. And so the test that we did called whole exome sequencing, it looks at multiple genes, actually all the known disease-causing genes at the same time. To have a lysosomal storage disease, both copies of the gene have to be abnormal. For Paige, when we did this test, and this is the most sophisticated test we have, uh, only one change was found. There was a small section of this gene that was outside the defined region. I am confident that this diagnosis would have been missed almost anywhere else. What Dr. Vero did was he was able to find a mutation that was missed by the initial testing, the whole exome sequencing test. This is a really rare disorder, and uh, back in my country, I have seen one patient with uh, similar symptoms. That's what make me, made me like go a little bit deeper. I think it was like a thin effort to get everything like uh, tied together. Usually, is that what we do here at Mayo, right? We always want to give something more to the families. So she has a disease called Marito-Lemay syndrome. It's also known as mucopolysaccharidosis type 6. It's a progressive disease that affects many organs. Um, undiagnosed and untreated, it gets worse and worse and worse over time, and patients typically die. I have an enzyme deficiency doesn't take care of waste products. It causes bones to change, like shape and like not form correctly, and just a bunch of other stuff. There was a huge sense of relief that finally, even though this was a diagnosis nobody would want for their child, we could get to the treatment and we could maybe stop the progression of it and give her better quality and better life. We now have the technology to make the enzyme that she's deficient in, in the laboratory. And so it's an intravenous treatment that she will get every week for the rest of her life. I really believe that these doctors saved my kid, without a doubt. And where other doctors may have set it aside and said it's another discipline, it's somebody else's issue and this test didn't show, check back later, they kept pushing through. Um, as a mom, that's absolutely invaluable, and they're, they're my heroes. Mm -hmm.